sexual abuse news may trigger you. Sex abuse stories in the news, and there have been a lot lately, may trigger strong emotions in the people who read them and have been abused themselves. Twitter was lit up this morning over a story that appeared in the National Enquirer. The story quoted friends of the late actor Corey Heim. Heim allegedly revealed to them that he was sexually abused by Charlie Sheen on the set of the 80s coming-of-age movie Lucas. Sheen, through a spokesman has since denied the allegations. Heim was 13 at the time with Sheen either being 19 or 21. Dominic Bressa and Corey Feldman both stated that Heim shared the abuse story with them. Feldman actually wrote about it in his autobiography without naming Sheen. The language is graphic and triggered some abuse memories for me. I pulled this quote from Newsweek. At some point during the filming, of The Lost Boys in 1987, Haim explained that an adult male convinced him it was perfectly normal for older men and younger boys in the business to have sexual relations, that it was what all guys do, Feldman wrote of a past conversation with Haim. So they walked off to a secluded area between two trailers, during a lunch break for the cast and crew, and Haim, innocent and ambitious as he was, allowed himself to be sodomized. When I said I was triggered, I mean that reading about someone else's sex abuse triggered memories of my own. Abuse can create an avalanche of shame in an individual and other emotions like rage, grief, guilt and disgust that help bury a person's authentic self. The shame deepens because we are society, thus far, that has a hard time dealing with such an emotionally explosive topic. So a child may be brave enough to share his story and then be shamed into silence or the story simply is not believed by a parent or friend who cannot handle the information for whatever reason. These incidents can rob life of any joy, many hang on secretly wishing death will set them free. Others can't wait and end up committing suicide. Abuse can also cause all sorts of addiction not just chemical, but sexual addiction as well. Sheen was taking a huge battering on Twitter. I understand if you have been sexually abused yourself and have not felt safe enough to deal with your rage to want very bad things to happen to your attacker is natural. I have felt like that many times in my life. Let us remember Sheen was also a child actor who came up in what appears to be a pretty sick Hollywood system. He certainly has not had an easy life and is a sex addict himself. So I ask for mercy, knowing that God's system is infinitely wiser than we can even begin to imagine. Are a victim of sexual abuse and are still hiding in the shame? and are having waves of emotion surface because of news stories like Himes, God bless you. I can attest that life can be joyful again, not that the journey is easy. I and others have to deal with gender confusion, survivor's guilt, my abuser went on to molest many others after me, plus for many years I never had a sexual feeling completely free of fear and self-loathing. But we are eternal beings given an eternity to work at our fears and judgments. But we are also so very beautiful and meant to be creative happy sons and daughters of the Most High. Forgiveness is perhaps the greatest tool given to us by Christ. Forgiving ourselves and others, can restore us to our peace and joy. It does take patience however. I have been forgiving my attacker for many years and actively send him love whenever I think of the event. When I was living on the streets I would often have panic attacks until I passed out. When I was triggered by the Sheen story, I went for a walk and was calm again within an hour, so progress is being made. The biggest problem for many sexual abuse victims is that they secretly believe they are unworthy of God's love, that was the case with me. If that is the case for you as well, I am saying that you deserve all the peace and joy God has to offer. As Christ says, that peace is beyond understanding. understanding.